uh, yellow, and welcome into See You Next Tuesday. I have got author, speaker, and humor addict Jordan Power. Hello. Welcome. How are ya? I was actually just telling him that uh, his sign behind him is fucking legit. I just have like my tiny unicorn lights that I bought from Target at some point. So goals over there on your side. <laughs> This is a lot of work, honestly. There's four cameras in here. It's a, it's a nightmare. But that's the dream. Like, I just want, you know, I want all the cameras and all the lights. So it's that's great. And your podcast's name is Unmentionable, correct? Yeah, Unmentionable. I just launched it in November. Oh, it's fun. been, our guests are completely, I think I'm going to get kicked off YouTube pretty soon. <laughs> I've had on like strippers, porn stars. I've had on like people who burp for $9.99 and OnlyFans. Like I've just had on like, I mean, I don't have a problem with sexuality or anything like yeah. that. But you know, that now the way th moves, things are moving now, it's like this like sterile corporate content seems yeah. to be what's popular and yeah. it's a nightmare. So yeah, I'm going to stay sure. on as long as I can. I just learned because I mean, I have like a sex podcast and like I'm talking about like, you know, coming on my face, coming in my mouth, like whatever. And I've been putting my shows on YouTube to try to like gain my like whatever so I can monetize it. And then they were like, read the rules. And I'm reading the I can't do shit on there because no. all I'm doing is cussing, talking about sex, uh, talking about weed, you know, like all the things that you can't. So I'm going to need a, a new, we need to create some type of new platform. Well, we Patreon, right? Like right, that's yeah. kind of where everyone's moving just oh, because, yeah. but I mean, I don't think it's a problem unless they ch you're being monetized. So once you start getting monetized, you basically can't find a sponsor with that, but I don't yeah. think they would kick you off. Okay. Who knows? Honestly, the thing with the, the, the past couple of weeks has taught me like, they're cracking down, I yeah. mean, on certain things. And it just mm -hmm. kind of, it makes you worried about what kind of content will survive in the future. Yeah, I mean, I feel like YouTube is definitely gonna like die down. Cause I mean, so many people that have like made a living off of YouTube is now like, this isn't what it used to be. And it's much more complicated now. So, but yeah, I mean, I've got a Patreon, I love it. Um, do you also have a Patreon? Yeah, I do have a Patreon. And that's where we have all the fun. Cause we, it's behind a paywall, right? You could talk yeah. shit about anybody in your life. They're probably not paying. <laughs> they probably won't <laughs> hear it. about it. Hey, as long yeah. as they don't, you know, screenshot and send it to them, then uh, we're great, you know? Yeah, no, it's like, if you're gonna talk about your exes and stuff and like, cause my old yes. podcast was shame on you. And we used to interview a bunch of guys we had sex with and it was oh a God, nightmare cause that. it was open. Anybody could that. listen. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was very raunchy. And uh, then, then the Patreon is like, it's like the safe haven, you know, uh -huh. you can just let it fly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have to get I have a few things written down about you that I found while stalking you, um, which is a lot <laughs> more fun than like stalking my exes or guys that I'm like about to have sex with because when it's for an interview, it's much more fun. And it's less me getting my feelings hurt. So I definitely enjoy that type of stalking more. Um, but the one thing that I need to ask a question about is you were on like a dating app or whatever, and you're swiping and you came across your dad. Oh, no, it wasn't an app. It was a website. So okay. my dad left the family. This is I know this story is wild. I've actually never told the story on my own podcast. So this oh is God. exclusive for you. Exclusive moment. I'm just <laughs> exclusive content. Um, <laughs> so my dad left our family computer open and he had a profile i thought he was straight this whole time he had a profile okay. on a website called squirt.org uh -huh. which i don't know if people are familiar with that it's a gay hookup site but it's like a specific kind it's for public sex so you actually rate public places to hook up oh yeah it's like a it's like a yelp for cock is is pretty much the way i would put it <laughs> like you're like you're really they give reviews now i'm not even kidding is the rating like cops won't find you or like great place to place your hands while you're getting it from behind? Is it like, is it that type of rating? I think it's, the, I, think it's I, I mean, I try to stay off there because it's not for me, but <laughs> from what I know is that it's like, yeah, like, you know, you won't get caught. It's for people that get a thrill out of cruising and public sex, which I don't have a problem with as, as long as there's no kids around. Right, but, right. <laughs> but I found his profile on there and uh, like all his details and messages he had and like, Oh, that he had a big penis, which is... <laughs> That's not something, like, you need to know about dad, you know? Like, no, and I kind of forgot. You know, when you're a kid, you see it in the shower, you're like, oh, that's oh, much bigger than mine. Right, yeah. <laughs> but then you just forget. Yeah, you're like, okay, yeah, no. Yeah, so well, I, yeah, I basically had to tell my mom, and that's how they divorced. <laughs> oh, my God, no! Okay, so, all right, you're how old? 23. No, no, when you found this. 
Oh, I was 20. No, I'm 34 now. I was 23 oh, when I figured this out. <laughs> but I was actually a closeted gay man with a boyfriend. That's why this story is crazy, because okay. I wasn't out to my family. I, I had a boyfriend. He would come over as like my friend. Right. Got it. And okay. my mom would always say things to him like, oh, my God, you're like a son to me. And he's like, well, like, <laughs> oh, not quite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, eh. so, um, yeah. And then I, and then I found my dad on this website and I, and the impetus for me to, uh, oh, my zoom's doing a weird thing again. I hope you can hear. Yeah. Um, that was the impetus for me to come out after that, but it was like, first we got to deal with this, this thing. This family issue we fucking got now. What did your mom yeah. say? Um, she had no idea, but okay. then in retrospect, she says that she had some idea. Okay. Um, which is interesting because, you know, at hindsight's twenty twenty. We always say that in life, right? We all kind of live in a certain zone and yeah. norms and beliefs and biases mm -hmm. and your world gets rocked. And then all of a sudden you, you look backwards. So then she kind of thought, but I mean, this is why I'm a comedian because my dad growing up, his occupation was a urologist, which is a, a penis doctor essentially. So when I open my stand up and I tell this story, I just go, listen guys, it's true what they say. You got to do what you love. <laughs> Chase your passion. <laughs> oh my god! So is he? Do do we talk to dad? Have we? Are we? Are we done with dad? We're we're done with that. Yeah. We, we okay. So no communication. Like, do we know if he's just like living as like a gay man now, doing his thing? You know, or no? He well, he's dead now, but oh, R.I.P. <laughs> scale of the dead. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, it's not funny, but. <laughs> It's, oh. it, I mean, listen, it's how I deal. I mean, I, I, I'm, sh I don't know if you're the same way. I'm getting a vibe. Yeah. But like, I had loved dark, cynical humor because yeah. during the times of my life that like, and I think that's what people don't understand, especially like my book that I wrote. It's called a uh, famous anus, not to plug, but whatever. Plug and plug it. Plug this shit. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> um, is that like people don't understand those of us that like cleave to humor in these dark hours? Mm -hmm. That like mm -hmm. it's how we survive. And I think people think we're laughing about. You know, I make jokes about HIV all the time because that's my fear as a gay man. Right. And I'm right. not like saying it's not important and all that, but it's just how we cope. It's our coping mm -hmm. mechanism. That's how we survive. Mm -hmm. So I do laugh at all this stuff. And it's kind of why I became a comedian, because things would just fall in my lap and stories and my friends would just be like, your life is like a movie. Like there's another story that's in my second book where I accidentally made out with my stepbrother. <laughs> yeah. I how told you, you I'm the how best you guest accidentally ever. make out with step bro. Now that's important if I've ever heard of it. Like, oh no, my oh. step brother. <laughs> We're just playing video games. No, what happened was, I know my life is, people think I make this stuff up and my best friends, people ask all the time, my best friends are like, no, it's all like horrifying and all true. It's, we've been there for it. <laughs> yeah. So my parents divorce, right? And my parents mm -hmm. break up and then my mom, uh, it starts the divorce process. And my dad kind of like abandons our family and he goes okay. and finds a woman, a new beard for him. What? And he finds, yeah, he can't have it. He can't get enough of that <laughs> fake pussy. <laughs> it's like. This pussy that doesn't turn me on, let me get yeah. some different kind. <laughs> like, can you just wear this baseball hat and like turn that way and I'll call you Chad? <laughs> yeah, I got this strap on. Can we try it? <laughs> Never been pegged before. This is new. Oh, uh, I mean, I, this is how I survive. It's like, it's like, what am I supposed to say? Like, what am I supposed to do to this? So anyways, I'm at a nightclub in Toronto. Okay. Gay bar, right? Okay. okay. I swear to God, this is a true story. Like, I would take a lie detector. I don't doubt it. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> This guy comes up to me, starts hitting on me. All right. And he's like, can I buy you a drink? Whatever. I start talking to him. And then we start making out. Oh. And like for like a couple of minutes. And in the middle of the make out, he stops me. I swear to God, this is true. And he goes, is your father, I won't say my dad's name, but is your fa father say like Dr. Smith? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, we need to have a very serious conversation right now. Now, my question is <laughs> how in mid make out was this guy like, oh, shit fuck this might be like, oh no he heck? knew who i was he sought me out that's why he hit on me so what he says to me at the bar <laughs> i know it's like how do i not have a netflix show but also like start a conversation don't start a makeout session like yeah people are crazy so he like sought me out we were making he's like is your dad this and he's like i just have a serious conversation with you and i was like well, about what it's like 2 a.m at a bar we're drunk like <laughs> We're going to talk about nuclear fission. It's like, just, just relax like right now. And then he's like, no, is your dad this? Your dad's actually dating my mom. And, and then he says, and I'm re ready and I'm really attracted to you. So I'm wondering if Easter is going to be weird. Oh my God. 
And I was like, I need a I- bag, like, you know. Like- <laughs> the, any drink that you had that night had exited your body as that came out of this man's mouth that you just- you, you, That'll kill you. When you make it with your brother, your brother it's a buzzkill. <laughs> It usually ruins the night for sure. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, what's wrong? Okay, if he had just started a conversation and then made the joke about Easter, fine. But to hit on you, make out with you, and then to randomly, like, what is wrong with this man? I don't know what's wrong with most people. I mean, what I've realized, the more I go to the go to, he's like, I am, I used to think I was a little nuts. I'm like, so so normal other people are the problem <laughs> that's that's classic denial right there it's just happening to you it's not your your it's, problem <laughs> yeah no i'm the i'm the victim of everyone else <laughs> no he like he like was like and i said to him i was like he started telling me the story and my mind was blown oh the best part of this is it was the one night that my sister my the gay bar okay my sister came up to me and uh see my zoom's doing that thing again i hope it sounds okay It'll be but fun. my Don't sister survive. comes up to me and she's like who is that guy you're talking to like that you were making out with? And I was like, and I turned to her and I go, honestly, our stepbrother. <laughs> honestly? <laughs> like that's some shit you hear on like a sitcom or like some weird show. It's not, it's not something you live through. And then like you wake up the next morning and then it's like, was did that happen? Was I so drunk that I, I thought of it? It's like, no, I, I made out with my stepbro, you know, just a little bit of sibling oh. bonding. But he's like, it's Easter going to be weird. I'm like, I guess. I mean, it, <laughs> you're trying better, to fuck me at the dinner table. Yeah, like better, you know, just making out than you'd like. Imagine if he had like slept with you and it was pillow talk. Like he's like, so by the by, <laughs> like that would have been some like wild. He whispers in my ear. He's like, is it true what they say? Incest is best. <laughs> now we brought up like the step whatever porn. Are Is that. Does that do it for you? Is that a category you click on? What's like your porn category? Okay, so this is what I've noticed in the quarantine. Okay. Is that the incest porn is through the roof right now during the quarantine. It's all I see on Pornhub. It's like literally all I see. I think it's like a gay thing. Oh my God. Go on Pornhub. It's like all the big, all the big gay ones are like family dick. I swear. This is real. Like I talked about this on my podcast. and. (laughs) Dick. No. What's in a name? See, this so is my theory the is whole that daddy thing I can't even handle because, like, even the thought, like, no. no. But this is somebody's thing. Yeah. So my theory, which is obviously a joke, but the theory I have is that <laughs> why it's so like during quarantine is because um everyone's staying with their families. <laughs> living with their families so then the mom says to the son you're not he you know the son turns to the mom he's like if you don't let me leave and go fuck my girlfriend mom i'm coming for you <laughs> and that's why it's been <laughs> oh my god i mean that's a funny joke i like i like that joke i mean here's your then, clip then yeah maybe then mom will let you leave the house but i just i don't think me being stuck inside with my family for a long time i then would be like hey let me fuck a family member or if i was like if i was just with my family i don't think that when i opened the laptop i'd be like and not that i'm kink shaming just that like you know that's a different moment i will i'll i'll do it <laughs> I try to put it on me. Leave your siblings alone. And I try to, yeah. (laughs) Please, for the love of God. Come on. Like, but like for like the peeing on people, like I've shamed people for that. But then it's like, I mean, everyone has their kink. Maybe one day I'll want to get golden showered. So I can't be, be shaming people for what, but then I, I realize it's a control thing. It's not really people right. wanting urine on them. It's like they want to be degraded to the point where it's like, I'm going to piss on you, which makes a whole lot more sense. Cause I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know that anybody's. I, just I mean, listen, I don't, I'm like, like you. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with anyone does as long as they're not hurting anyone or themselves, of course. Yeah. But yeah. it is hilarious when you're hooking up with someone and they're like, can you piss on me? It's funny. What I probably would just go with it. I'm. I, you, you would say yes. I see. Fine. Do you? Depends how much I like the person, right? Would you go to the shower or would you let them piss in your bed? Oh, I would never do that. I have a nice mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I would. 
You're not <laughs> missing my Tempur-Pedic plush up. No. <laughs> Literally, it's like it's like nineteen hundred dollars. I'm not fucking doing that. No, I mean I do. I probably wouldn't shit on someone. I think I just. I don't think I'd be able to look at them the same after I shit on them. You know, like I don't know. But I, a lot of gay guys will. This is gonna get kicked out. Kicked out. You do. My friend was having was having, and the guy said to him, and I swear to God, this is true. The guy was about to finish. Uh-huh. I'll be. I'll be PC. I was about to finish, and he <laughs> said to him. To. <laughs> he goes, "Oh, you're gonna get me pregnant to the guy." Like, <laughs> so two men have, and he says to my friend, "Oh, yeah, you're gonna get me pregnant." My friend goes, "What?" And he goes, "Yeah, nine months, baby." And he wasn't joking. I mean, it was like a. <laughs> I've heard of girls like get turned on by the thought of like guys coming inside them and being like, "Oh, I'm gonna get pregnant," even though like they know they're not because they're on the pill or they have like whatever. I have not heard it for a guy, but I mean. No. Maybe he just like really like always wanted to be a mom, you know? Maybe. I mean, but I just some things in with dirty talk is like, you know, someone says something, you're like, "Mm, not for me, I'll roll with it. That one I'd just be like, Uber. (laughs) Your Uber's uh, here. (laughs) Your Uber's here. (laughs) Instant knock at like I actually am not gonna finish. And it's an (laughs) Uber X, you filthy pig. My dick is flaccid. Please leave. (laughs) There's no point in continuing. Has there ever been like any type of dirty talk that's made you just like so turned off that you're like, no, or like any request in bed that you've denied? Mm -hmm. Or a pet? No, I don't think so. I won't do fisting because I feel like if I like it, then I can't go back. Your butthole but, probably won't go back, unfortunately. No. I think. Those oh, you know, I had one of the stories forever. of my book. One of the stories of my book is I had anal fissure surgery. What is? What's I had an, a, Educate me. What's an anal? Is it a, a fissure? what? You're like what? A who? So a fissure. <laughs> <laughs> what? No what? Okay, a fissure is like a paper cut. Imagine like a paper cut on your asshole. That's what a fissure is. So I had this cut on my asshole. I have a condition called colitis, right? So it's a okay. it's a bowel condition, okay. chronic disease. Fun. And it can be a pro like that can be part of it. Also, haphazardly shoving dicks down the regular probably doesn't right. help. Let's right, right, be right. Clear. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll do a little split. It didn't thing. yeah, it didn't heal and it became chronic. So I had to have anal fissure surgery. And what happens is it's like it gets so swollen, they have to go in there and cut muscle fibers. <laughs> Not my asshole, no. Yeah. My favorite asshole, 1.0, and they're like coming in there, <laughs> and it was like literally like the funeral for my asshole. Like it, when I truly, I was like, oh, I'll never, like, who will I be without my signature butthole? <laughs> you know, you I mean, wonder these they, things. Did they really like beat it up? Like, did they make it look to where it it never looked the same before? No, they made it into a pussy. <laughs> Imagine that. They're like, oh, oh, that was the wrong surgery. Fuck. We did the wrong surgery. You have a clit. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. (laughs) Your fissure's gone, but you have a vagina. Get fucked in a different way. (laughs) (laughs) Now, like. This podcast is lit. You're welcome, guys. I fucking love it. But really, though, like, because, I mean, we've all spread, you know, our cheeks to take a look at what, what we're dealing with back there. So is your asshole any bit the same? Does it look like better? Was it like a, like a cosmetic no, it look, for it? It looks angry. <laughs> it looks like I did something to it. Like it's, like, it's like, God, what did you do to me? It's PTSD <laughs> asshole. <laughs> are, are guys afraid to enter it? Are, so you're a bottom then. But not really. I'm, I'm pretty verse, but Probably I mean, after that. <laughs> That probably really make ruined it. <laughs> yeah, like no more, please. Like a biohazard scene. No one wants to go near it. War zone. No, I mean, it's definitely not really not beautiful, <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, really, the- is any asshole like? I don't think of asshole and think beautiful. So I feel like that's okay. Oh, Asians have nice ones. I okay. find. But I'm Asian guys not, have nice buttholes. I'm not looking at a lot of ass, really. I'm looking really? more at, at penis. Um, most of the guys that I've had sex with don't want me to go anywhere near their asshole. There have been quite a few that have, but normally I'm not looking at assholes. So I don't even- Well, straight guys' would... assholes are mangy. 
Water. You don't know what's in there. I'm, I, 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 yeah. Are you straight? I do? Yeah, well, no, I'm bi. Well, I think I'm pan. I had a realization recently where like, I don't fucking care. Just like be a good person. Yeah. I don't really care what you got attached to you. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes the personality is hotter than the person. It's happened to me before. Happened blah, to blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. But Your yeah, point I'm, is, I don't care about what you look, what you are. It's just as yeah. long as you're hot. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate it. That honesty. <laughs> Not exactly where I was going, but like, I'll take it. Okay, sure, sure, sure. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> did you kill someone? I don't care. Are you hot? So Ted you, Bundy was like kind of hot. I will say I, like a little bit. No, I get the whole like girls right? are like thinking about him while masturbating type thing. Like Master- I get it. He is a little bit of a zaddy. Like I understand. I just. Right. Yeah. But see, that's why you can't trust men. You fucking help them to their car. And then they murder you. Like maybe I wanted. Oh yeah, men are men are maybe terrible. Want to get got? You know what I mean? Like it, maybe we could have been something. But at least you had like a good couple minutes while he was murdering you. You know, something nice to look at. Yeah, just like oh, I mean, it could have been. At least I'm being penetrated in some way as he puts the knife in. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how he murdered. People, bye bye but... YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, oops, sorry. It's just a yolk. It's fine. Just a couple of jokes. Uh, I'm really into, I was, I literally almost just said, I'm really into that murder shit. Um, no, I'm, <laughs> but like the, the a lot of people are. No, whole, seriously. Yeah, like, the documentaries, and I can't watch a scary movie to save my soul. Like, like ghosts, the jump scares, no. But show me some like absolutely gruesome murder that happened to somebody. And I'm like, wow, what an interesting thing I just watched for two hours, like while I eat snacks and I'm like not unfazed. But it's like, what the fuck is wrong with Especially as a woman, like, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, being a woman is terrifying. I mean, like, it's like, it's like walking late at night as a woman. Yeah. He's like a risky, it's probably more risky than Corona. Yeah. And it's like... More risky than Corona. I don't know. Everyone's fucking dying right? from that it- shit. So I'm just staying inside. There's not much of me walking around these days anyway. So it's not as much of a problem. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean. Don't even come like- on people's faces. Just come on their face shield. <laughs> I haven't had sex in so long. And I talk about that on my show. And people are like, just fuck with a mask on. And I'm like, what? why? Oh. Why would I want to do that? Like, no, absolutely not. I will just wait. Um, fuck. I've, oh, I was thinking that I almost like feel sorry for like the guys who end up walking behind me because regardless in my mind, I think that you're going to like murder or rape me. So the whole time I'm just like, uh, like I'm looking back and I'm acting all weird and they're probably just going home like me because of the guys who are awful. Um, and they might actually be a murderer. I mean, you're probably might, smart. Like, have you ever, like, this is something I've always thought about. Have you ever like driven by like a place or seen like, you know, a van with no windows and thought like, I wonder how many people have been murdered here. Or like, have you ever just thought about like, you've been somewhere where someone like was murdered and you have no idea or that there could be a dead body like in cement where you are? That shit. Okay, well, here's a crazy one mind. that I thought of the other. I mean, you, you're gone, you're beyond me. So don't try to loop me in with your dysfunction. <laughs> it's not dysfunction, it's working. You tried for look. <laughs> He tried to look for an ally in me and I was like, get away from me. You're like, fuck this shit. No, but there, I know so many other girls who are like this, so it's okay. I'll be fine. Okay, but hold on. Here's one I thought about the other day. You're going to die. Okay. Okay, I, I just wait. found out this other day and I was so stoned. Did you know that Michael Douglas got cancer from eating his wife's pussy? Cerv- cer- she must You're not- have had cervical cancer. She had HPV. Right. Okay. And she gave it to him oh. in his throat. And like he... Wait, no, he didn't die. He got he didn't die though, but he got cancer. Okay. From eating his wife's pussy. Did you know that this is actually true? Because what they did was they went to the lab and they traced back and they can trace. I found this out. So interesting. They can when someone gets like throat cancer and stuff, they can say whether it was like smoking or drinking, but in this yeah. specific incident, yeah. they traced it back to HPV. So like he was just dating his wife right. for I don't know, decades. Uh-huh. So it's like literally like he ate her pussy and she was like <laughs> think about this and she was just like oh that was amazing was it good for you and he's like no actually it wasn't now i have to go get chemo <laughs> now i have fucking throat cancer and also like yeah. 
go get a pap smear. This is why we go to the gyno. Like, just go and get that fucking mascara wand shoved up your cooter. Make sure you're good and be on your way. Did I learn today husband. that in the UK, you can't get a pap smear until you're 25. What? Why? I've been having- You would probably know. have HPV before then. They think that, like, it can be harmful, I guess. But, like, I've been having sex since I was 15. So, like, that's a long time. Like, 15 to 25. That's a long time for something to get up in there and for me to not know about it. Like, that was insane to me. I was like, that cannot be Yeah, we're all just passing HPV strains. That's the meaning of life. When they say with the meaning of life, we're literally all just passing strain, like, bingo. Just a big SD everywhere. I. The yeah. thing that pisses me off about school and health is that they were like, you'll die from sex no matter what. You're going to die or get pregnant and that might kill you or it'll just ruin your life. And everything was the worst. What they didn't tell you is that with most STDs, it's it's just an antibiotic away from everything being fine. Like, it, it's literally, it's just like, like with chlamydia, gonorrhea, all that shit. Like, I mean, if you don't treat it right when you get it, it can be a problem. But like, you just take a pill and that shit's gone. Why didn't they tell you that shit? I was terrified for life. I mean, luckily I haven't gotten one, but like. Oh, I had chlamydia in my book, Famous Sanus. There's another mm. plug for you. I got, <laughs> I hate doing that. It's so I awkward. Do, it's like, anytime I tell him like, yeah, I have a podcast. It's called See You Next Tuesday. Um, And I'm like, Anyways, like plugging yeah, like, it. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me at. <laughs> um, I, uh, I got chlamydia twice in my week from the same person. <laughs> Okay, so well, my you- parents didn't love me properly, so I dated alcoholics. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That's happened. exactly what happened. You know, but how, okay, so you have sex, right? You get it, and then you he's do asymptomatic. It? Oh, right? oh, okay. He's asymptomatic. He gives it to me. I am working with my business partner. I feel like someone's poured vinegar in my pee hole, and I'm like, oh my god! I go to the washroom to pee, and I was like, did I just come in the urinal? Oh. No, no discharge. <laughs> no, that was bad no when you're like, had. Does that come or discharge? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not turned on, but there it looks like it. So then I go to the I go to the clinic. I literally bolted to the clinic. I would have sprinted. <laughs> it was so bad. And the woman hands me the thing to pee in. And I literally pee in it. And it looks like have you are you Italian or do you know anyone? <laughs> do you ever have stracciatella soup? Have you ever heard of it? Stracciatella soup is like an egg dropping Italian soup. It literally looks like, like imagine like, you know, when your egg hits like hot water, it's those like s- disgusting strands. Yeah. So it was like literally this. And I, she like had a lapse in professionalism. Like literally I handed it to her and she looks at me, the nurse, and she goes, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not supposed to say anything. She And then she holds it up. She goes, but I think you know what this is. And I was like, it looks like sea monkeys. <laughs> It literally look like little sea monkeys floating it and i go oh this ain't good so oh my God. i go in the doctor gives me like a whole I, the, the dialogue's in my book but basically yeah. the doctor gives me a whole like thing lecture about safe sex but okay. the thing was that i used a condom mm. thank god because i usually don't and- <laughs> <laughs> the one time that you do and you fucking get it I was like, you know what? See, now I won't ever use a condom again. This is bullshit. Reasons to not. <laughs> no, but like practice safe sex, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a Mormon. I'm not wearing a condom. So, <laughs> so the point is, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's terrible, but true, but true. So the point of this whole thing is that I, I get um, the woman diagnoses me, whatever. Yeah. First, she tells me, I was like, how did I get this? She's like, you should always be wearing a condom when you um, like have sex or give oral because okay. I gave oral. Right. Okay. But, and then she was like, you should always be using. And I'm like, no one's going to do that. But also, That's like, literally the word. Put a condom on your dick while you blow someone. No, on his dick. Like I'm supposed oh. to blow. Like, <laughs> like I'm a Russian. My brain think that? What the fuck <laughs> is wrong with me? Why <laughs> my own dick? <laughs> Why would she you want not? you to cover you? No. <laughs> I mean, like, I have my bong here, but like, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay but okay, that so, really didn't make so much sense. She tells me that. And I turned to her and I was like, no one's ever going to do that. Just stop. Like, like, just stop. Who wants and the then taste I was like, of that? No. 
I was like, I'd rather get chlamydia again, is what I said to her face. And she was horrified. She was just like, oh my God. So anyway. <laughs> Poor like 50 year old woman that's already judged you for your cloudy piss. Oh, she was like, piss. she was, I was like making a whole joke of it. Like she asked me if I swallowed and I said I was vegan. <laughs> And she was like looking at me like, this isn't a comedy bit. But I have to say, I'll do that to doctors too. Like, I'm so nervous that I'm like, you're my audience. Here we go. And I turn into some kind of stand up comic and then I leave. And I'm like, that was really cringy for everybody involved as I like said a joke to my gyno about like my like labia or some shit, you know? Yeah, I know. But okay. it's it breaks up the monotony of their day, right? It's fun for them. <laughs> I think so. I think so they anyways. like leave the room. And they're like, oh, her again. <laughs> that whore. She's back again. <laughs> um, so I leave. They give me the medication. I call him. I tell him. And yeah. he's like, he has no symptoms. So he's like, thinks that he thinks I'm crazy or something. Okay. Anyways, I tell him, I'm like, go to the clinic, whatever. And he, so we both get medication. I take the medication for like the long, I think it's like six or six days. Okay. So I take the medication for six days. He is an alcoholic, so he mm. takes it for one uh, one day, two days, and then just stops because he's not feeling anything. But he was never feeling anything. Like, this is how it was, like, special sexual education. Like, it really was, like, a level of, like, a grown man <laughs> can't even take the medication. And he's like, oh, I feel fine. Like, he was so stupid. He was literally the dumbest person. So, anyways, then we have sex again. <laughs> Oh, God. But did you and know I'm at like, the time that he had stopped taking it? I just assumed, like, what kind of an idiot just takes it? I just Stops. assumed he did yeah. the full seven days. And I said, and I was like, basically, it was like, I in my head, I was like, okay, we're good. We can have sex again now. Right, yeah. So he just passed it right back to me. <laughs> also, like, wouldn't you be, and like, not that I'm shaming anybody for having STDs. Stop with that. These people need to be I shamed, feel, Katie. I feel like there's a, like a, a part of you that's going to have PTSD to not go back to that dick because it gave you chlamydia. But you were like, nah, I'm good. No, no, I still, I still. <laughs> Let's do it again. I was like, if, a, if my penis burning doesn't kill this relationship, what well, will? <laughs> I really had like my masochism had no bounds. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> when the dick's good, you just keep going back. You just gotta, gotta go back. Yeah. So anyways, the point was, is that he, I had to go back to the clinic and then it was the same doctor. Stop. No. Oh yeah. no. And I, I saw her come in the door and I was like, oh no. Like I, cause it was a clinic with five family doctors. So I figured I would get like a someone else. One. Just anybody so else. Then she, yeah. she looks at me and she's like, <laughs> I did like, I had to tell her the story. And this is the, what I put in my book. And it's honestly the only way I can describe this. She looked at me like you would look at like a, a, a like a house that just went up in flames and like literally lit a family of four on fire. And you were like watching them burn on the street. Like literally, she was just like staring at me in like complete horror. Like she was disgusted by the situation. Like, it's not that gross. Like, no, but like, I think that that like I would be romantically involved with a human being that can't even take medication to cure themselves from an STI. It's like, what kind of a like lunatic would put up with this? And, you know, the next week I was like, let's have dinner. Like, I, like everything was fine. <laughs> Did you I guys was like to them again? Uh, probably. But like it, there was a lecture. But I was livid. Like I said to him, I'm like, what is wrong with you as a human being? Like, there's something genuinely really wrong with you what besides his, the alcoholism. What, what was his explanation? Oh, he just was closeted gay man. He literally hated himself. So he would get drunk like all he would literally drink like probably I would say like five days a week. He was drunk ah. and like he would leave me voicemails. I wasn't far behind, but he would leave me voicemails that like were like literally they would just go. I couldn't even, I could make out like five words. And then he always ended them like this. It was hilarious. I always do this to my friends. He like this, he goes, okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> like the B had an extra like, bye. He's probably puking. He's like, okay, bye. It's like coming out of his mouth. Now, see, I feel like that's where I would then be turned off and not go back for <laughs> for more. But you were like, oh yeah, okay, bye me all the way to the chlamydia to the fucking clinic well, uh, my parents hugged me a little bit tighter as a child i probably wouldn't have done that stuff <laughs> you know it, it, these things come to roost <laughs> oh my oh, god. god oh lord it's fucking okay. fun Have you're you welcome guys done, 
uh, this is a great episode. I'm really happy with it so far. Unmentionable. I, like, every my Friday. eyeliner is running from laughter, so that's always nice. <laughs> Tune in every Friday. Unmentionable. <laughs> you guys normally want to see my uh, eyeliner running from their dicks, but they can come on and watch the YouTube video and see it from, you know, you making me laugh. It's You get disgusting messages from men doing this. Oh, yeah. Random dick pics, guys that are just like... I can't wait to have sex with you next week. And I'm like, I, we've never had a conversation. Why did you think that you were going to penetrate me at all? Or guys that like go on a date with me and then they're like, so when, when are we having sex? And I'm like, what, what? And they're like, we have a sex podcast. And I was like, well, that, oh I'm, my God. Um, so there's a lot that people just expect that like, I'm talking about sex. So I'm going to suck their dick. And I'm like, that's not. No, because everybody no. has sex. I'm just telling stories and asking people about their sex life too. But because people only hear me talk about sex, they think that I am a walking pussy. And I mean, right. pussy power, like I love it. But at the same time, it's like, y'all. I mean, the planet's done. If anybody doesn't read the news, like for Christ's sakes. <laughs> there's, no, there's no more redoing this. We can't read. No, it. we have, we've ruined the, the party's almost over. I don't know if most people, I'm like an environmental junkie. Like uh, people have no, I don't want to bum out your audience. People have no <laughs> idea how bad it is. Well, people are living like, in denial. Isn't there some like six year clock that's posted somewhere where the time is running out? And if we don't fix shit by then, like the world's just going to like, or some you shit. run out of, I, I'm not even making this up. You can Google it. We run yeah. out of fish and soil within 30 to 35 years. Oh, I'll probably still be alive for that too, huh? Bad chance. The way you're going, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so sure <laughs> there was like a tweet where they were like talking about trump and they were like his body with covid trying to survive off of the lettuce from the big macs he eats and i'm like but honestly that would be me too like that would be me like if right i, like, I eat i eat like a fucking garbage can so covid has no chance if it gets in his body i'm fucked no, I think it's so, it's, I don't know. I mean, I was watching CNN and they had this woman on there like 52 years old, like mother of three healthy, like camp, she just died of COVID and it was like pretty sad. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, she's so young. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. And then they flashed her up on the screen and the woman was a blimp. And I was like, well, I, I mean, <laughs> healthy when you're 300, no. I mean, are we playing this game still? Like, it's like, I, I don't know. I just like, listen, I always say this in my podcast, like, Anybody who's overweight should deserves love as much as everyone else. They should be allowed to wear a bathing suit. They should be called sexy, but let's not pretend it's healthy. I mean, let's be real. But there, I, there are women and men who like will have blood work done while being overweight and it come back completely fine. And like, they don't just have that their blood, blood is red goo. No, <laughs> no funny. I won't laugh. Um, <laughs> you're, you're too woke for me. <laughs> I don't I'm, give a shit. I'm so afraid of getting canceled at every moment. Like I'm like, Who cares? you have your own podcast. Who's going to stop you? I don't, they're going to be like, Katie's a bad person. <laughs> I don't honestly, you, it, this is my bit thing about this business. I, my, my iTunes reviews are literally fives and ones, which is a great sign. That's true. That's you gotta true. be, you gotta be punchy. You gotta be memorable. That's why I came on here and just let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely annihilated it. <laughs> What else you want to talk about? <laughs> um, I want to talk about you doing boner spray. Okay, yes. So another <laughs> story. The way that you just, okay, yes. And pulled your shirt down. Like you're like, let's do it. <clears throat> I'm ready for this. My In my airplane shirt. Travel's also done. <laughs> it's like, I'm, this is like going to be in a museum soon. They're like, remember when we could fly? <laughs> remember when there were planes? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's a chapter in my book, Famous Anus. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon.com. <laughs> uh, I uh, I basically went. Okay, so I went to Colombia and um, with my friends. Colombia is not at all anyone that wants to go when the world comes back in probably twelve years. But if they want to go, it's honestly an amazing place. I can't speak highly. It's not what you think. It's not what you read. It's safe and it's beautiful and amazing restaurants. Mm -hmm. So my friend and I get there within like three minutes. We've already procured cocaine. Like literally. <laughs> Like we didn't even unpack our bags. Like we were just like, go get it. Somebody go just get like it. handed it to you. They were like, yes. It's so cheap. It's like five dollars. 
we get there, we do a line. I'm used to like Toronto cocaine where it's like one part cocaine, 10 par- or nine parts, whatever the fuck. Like who knows? Mystery Acid. powder. <laughs> yeah. So I like, I'm used to that. So we do a line and then we go to dinner and we're so high because it's real cocaine. It's like, we're just sitting and having dinner. Like, you know, like an 80 year old Eastern European couple, they just sit and have dinner and like, they don't even speak to each other. Cause we were so high. We w- we sat there for an hour. We're just like, wah, 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 wah. anyways, our friend tells us that we have to get this stuff called boner spray in, okay. in, in the, so we are like, okay. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> you so have we're to like, try this guys. <laughs> this over the counter. You can just buy it. So it's, it's basically by Vi- spray Viagra. It's All like right. the generic form of, but we don't know. We just think it's boner spray. So we buy it. Then we're hanging out with this guy and the three of us just start passing it around in like a circle and we're wasted. So do you spray it on your dick or on your tongue? On your tongue. Oh, see, here I am thinking you spray it on a boner. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't have a penis. I don't fucking know. Don't you I have just a suck them. I don't, I don't know a lot about them, all right? Well, it's a good thing you don't have a sex podcast. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so we do it. We're sitting there, we're passing it around. We're just spraying it like children. Yeah. And then I root spray then, candy. <laughs> literally, and we look at each other, we're like, oh, I guess we didn't plan what happens next, right? Because like it's so sexual. Boner but you're alert. Right. So we go back to our hotel and there's a guy that I pick up on the roof, basically, mm-hmm. some straggler local. I go, <laughs> come on over. Hola. <laughs> if I could bring him over. We're all <laughs> sitting there. And we're just passing boner spray around, like literally just passing it in a circle. We're wasted. Yeah. With erections, right? Yeah. We're doing cocaine. We're smoking weed. We have like, and then we're all, the four of us are just sitting there playing with our boners, laughing, like hitting each other with them. (laughs) Like it was like a frat boy. Like we were just like, oh my God. (laughs) My penis. It goes like this. And then we start flinging it. And then, so anyways, I leave. And Wait, I go did and anybody have sex. Yeah. Did so the, one of the locals, the local guy b- didn't speak English well, which is my core demo because my personality is, you know, abrasive. So <laughs> abrasive. <laughs> that's what I will call it. Men like someone who just like, you know, well, you know, as a woman, it's just like they don't really want you to have opinion. It's, right, like, right. it's like, can you just not have an opinion? Can you yes. just be a whole? Yeah. And you're like, oh, OK. <laughs> Be a whole, don't want a relationship. Just don't talk just about lay that. There. Yeah, no, just shush. agree with my shitty job and life choices and yeah. stroke my ego. I mean, mm-hmm. I know when I really want to get a guy to speak with me, my 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 default is I just don't be myself because <laughs> I find that being myself does not yield good returns. So what alternate personality do you go into? Just like I, I do what they want to hear. Like I laugh at all their stupid jokes and like I don't like criticize their shirt, you know, like. <laughs> Like, you know what I, you know what it is. Maybe this is why I don't have a boyfriend and they all just want to have sex with me. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend either. And this is the problem. I have two high standards. <laughs> that doesn't exist. No, you can't settle. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a blow up doll in my studio. That's why this is what I'm staring at the whole time. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, <laughs> do you see it? Yeah. It's friendly. One of my producers quit, so he just bought a blow up doll and, and just it literally sits there instead of his job. And we <laughs> talked to him. Anyways, the point of this story is that I hooked up with the guy in the shower. Okay. And then the other guy started puking all over the room. And then we were all just wasted, naked, running around the room with our boners out, laughing when someone's puking, smacking each other with them. Like it was. The whole thing's in my book, but it was just, it turned into this like insane fest because we didn't think ahead. We just thought like, this is funny, but it's, it's also extremely sexual. Right, right. It doesn't sound like it was very sexual though. It almost sounded like y'all got a kick out of the fact that it worked and that you had boners. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it was fun. Okay, I have another good story for you. And this is also okay. in my book. Are we going too long on time? I'm having no, a blast. No, it can be as long as I've been, I haven't done a show in like two weeks. So they'll listen to four hours of me queefing if, if, if it was a thing. Just for, you should do that for an episode. I can do it. I on probably demand. would go number one. I, I can literally suck in air through my vagina and just her right out. And that's kind of what it sounds like. And I don't know why I can, but I can. Wow. I can't believe you don't have a boyfriend with that last line. <laughs> <laughs> so I just fart out of my vag. Is that something they want? Do they want a girl who's just like, no, right men want like an Asian schoolgirl that laughs like this. Ooh. 
Oh, that's no, no. what they want. Like, she's small. She can just suck in air and queefing has nothing to do with like a large vagina. It just is air Keep telling yourself trapped. that, Katie. Bitch, Keep telling yourself they're that. all like, this shit's so small I can't get in. And I'm like, yeah, it is. So Katie's got an air tunnel. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get to my story. You and your okay. big vagina. <laughs> my massive flapping pussy. <laughs> this better go number one on YouTube. Okay, really so, well. <laughs> so the funniest story in my book, it's my favorite story, is I had sex with my boss. Okay. What? Okay story is amazing like literally people think my book's fiction i'm like i swear my life like i just when you do a lot of drugs and alcohol and surround yourself with degenerates fun happens things happen when you don't say no you know you just kind of gotta go with it i like crazy people it's fun yeah Life's it is fun short, man yeah so anyways and so i'm ending yeah <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah don't plan ahead don't have a retirement fund you idiots <laughs> go read go read reddit collapse that's what i'll say to you okay <laughs> So I'm at Woody's in Toronto, which is a gay bar, and they have this thing called the ass contest, right? Oh. And the way it works is you walk up on stage, you pull your pants down, show your ass, blah, blah, blah. And the winner gets $150. And, and the crowd just cheers. And so whoever has the loudest cheers wins. Okay. So I got a great ass. Let's be honest. All right. So I make it to the finals. Oh, right. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you. Job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll remember that when I'm old. So then I'm on stage and I'm, I put, uh, I'm, I have my ass out and I turn over to my right and on the edge of the stage is my boss who I did not know was gay. I just thought he was a straight guy, mostly because of his clothing. And so I like turn to him and he's on the side of the stage and he just kind of like lifts his beer at me and winks. Oh. And, and this is my direct boss. Okay. Like this isn't like, so anyways, I, I walk, he walk, he motions me over. And he, oh. he's very drunk. And this is what he says in my ear. He goes, if I would have seen that ass at the job interview, I would have hired you a week earlier. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay. okay. I okay. earned this job on my own merits. So <laughs> I will not be a piece of meat. Just kidding. So he's like, he, he tells me that. And then I win. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he kind of disappears. And I go back to work and see him. And then a couple of weeks later, he gets a new job, right? So the second he gets his new job, he texts me and he's like, hey, I'm no longer your boss. We should go for drinks. And I was like, obviously, I know what's about to happen here. And yeah, yes. Yeah. So I go and it's like super awkward this whole time. And then eventually I just stop him in the middle of dinner. And I was like, we don't have to do like we were doing the small talk. And I was like, we don't have to do this anymore. Let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> See how my personality is disgusting. But it's so like me. I'm so honest. It's a nightmare. It's I'm so just lying. so honest. And people don't know what to do with that. They're like, uh, please stop. I had a party last night. I mean, I didn't. It's COVID. <laughs> Not a party. Let's say a small, a very small gathering. I want to be clear. No, I didn't. There was three people at my house. I'm not even joking. Oh, okay. anyway. that are, that's not a party. No. And we were all fucking. No. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we were coughing each other's assholes. We were like, ah, ah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a party and like I, it was just like, my, I might have almost something wrong with me, but I don't realize people adjust who they are in certain social situations. Mm-hmm. Like my friends will be like, don't say that thing. Like I was talking this thing about like how I'm like supportive of trans people and non-binary, but like if you call, if you say you're a zur, I, I, I'm done. Like it's too far. What for is me. a zur? Exactly. Exactly. Is Katie. that a, is that a new term I'm supposed That's to That's a new know? pronoun. Oh, there's a part where we go enough. Zerm. Okay. Your, your crowd's probably more woke, but there's a part where I go enough. Okay. Quiet. <laughs> Like I met a girl and she changed her gender every three hours during the day. I go enough. That's mental illness. That's not a legitimate person. Stop. Stop dignifying this. With <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> but they were saying that like they agreed with me, but that like certain social situations, you don't just like you change who you are. You don't say certain things. Or you don't bring them up. And it's very no. interesting because me, I, I I realize that's like why I don't like a lot of people because I hate fakeness. And I yes. said to them, I go. They go, don't say that. I go, but that's my opinion. I'm mm-hmm. like, I, I, I don't want to live in this fake world, like with different right. maps and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's why I've been successful at podcasting is because I truly just say exactly what's on my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the way that I live. And like, I feel like when new people meet me, like the first thing they say is like, you're so honest. And I'm like, 
as opposed to what like what are how are you living your life like this is the way to do it fake. so just fake just they're just just a different person different masks different ideas different identities i think Which, it's exhausting. That's exhausting yeah like fuck that like who wants to even deal with that like just be yourself all the time and if people don't like you fuck them like whatever it's fine <laughs> this <laughs> it's is our advice that why we're both single <laughs> Don't follow our advice. You'll die alone. <laughs> I'm really hoping to get some dick here soon. You know, like I would love to not die alone. <laughs> I'll ask my audience. Or I'll just mail you the blow up doll. Just mount that. See, here's the thing. It's like people are like, just masturbate. It's fine. It's not the same. Like, no. Masturbating, like, it's great. I come cool. I watched porn. Fun times. But it's just, it's not the same as getting, you know, just like absolutely raw dogged from behind. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. You're getting chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> that cavalier attitude. You're getting chlamydia real soon. <laughs> like the scarlet A, but just a C, like on my yes. forehead. <laughs> They're like, we thought it was for cunt, but it's for chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I luckily have somehow not gotten an STD in my lifetime. And I'm probably jinxing the fuck out of it now, but oh, it's coming. It's I coming. somehow. And you're going to have... get the big one. You're no. going to go skip right to syphilis. No. <laughs> Par paralysis. Do you know you can get paralyzed? Imagine you fuck someone and then like you're in a wheelchair. It's like, oh. Fuck me so good I can't them. move. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is there, there's a guy eating a girl's pussy right now and he does not know he's getting cancer. <laughs> like, oh my God. No. And she's probably from the UK <laughs> because they don't get fucking pap smears until they're like 40. <laughs> Well, I've seen how they treat their teeth. So I mean, <laughs> wow. what well, do you think they're going to get? I smear? pride myself on like taking very good care of my puss. Like she's got a wash. She goes to the gyno once a year. Like what's gets, a wash? What do you mean? Like a water, like a, a, a pH balancing wash. It's like, it's like, oh, it's its own. It's in a little purple bottle. I use the Vagisil one. They say like, you don't need to do anything. Leave her alone. That's like if I just left my asshole alone yeah, and I never yeah. washed it. Like, no, I, I need, she needs attention, you know? Oh, I like, always like, I've been on so many dates where like, you know, the thing about being gay, right? You know, someone's going to eat your ass. You got to time right. things, right? Yes. Do you know how many yes. washrooms I've been in that like, yeah. I've, I've gone home with a guy, I go, just a sec, I'm just going to go powder my nose. But, and, but powder my nose, I mean, go in your washroom, use your hand soap to clean my asshole, and then <laughs> finger your asshole with it. And then take your face towel that's going to be on your face tomorrow and pat it dry. And then I thought, I justified because I'm like, well, your face is going to be in my asshole already. So it's like, who fuck your face towel? Exactly. I mean, I've done the same thing with my vagina. I have literally like washed, just you yeah. kind of just wash the area with some hand soap, you know, like it's, it's not. And then they go down you and they're like, is that Hawaiian breeze? <laughs> I feel like I recognize the scent. I feel like they know the smell. There was a time, and this isn't I, I just reminded of bathroom times. Um, I was drunk off my ass on tequila. My tequila days, I broke up with tequila because I would just end up like naked in a bar and getting kicked out. So we stick to champagne, which is still a very slurry type of drunk, but she's fun. Um, but I was at this guy's house and I was completely like blacked out on uh, tequila and I went to the bathroom. And his bathroom was so disgusting that I didn't want to sit on the toilet seat. <clears throat> so I was like, I'm going to just like squat. I pissed all over my pants. And I was wearing these like light green pants. So you could see that I had like just absolutely pissed all over them. And I was like, I like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't. So I was like, power move. Yeah. I, I just know took all say. my clothes off and went outside. And like, thank God that this didn't happen at like a restaurant or something. Cause I don't know what I would have done, but yeah, just Same completely thing. naked. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Grow up, Katie. A little public nudity never hurt anybody. Imagine whatever. you walk into like a, like a restaurant and then there's just like kids eating their spaghetti and then your snatch just going by and the mom's like, oh my God. <laughs> my <laughs> red, my red hue. Like this fish. <laughs> My red bush coming in hot, you know. Oh, do you have a fire? Do you have a fire crotch? Oh yeah, it's all red. Eyebrows, leg wow. hair, armpit hair. It's all coming out red. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and that was a big question in like elementary school and middle school. Like every fucking guy was just like, "Do the 
what's the saying? Because I always say do the do the, oh, the cur- curtains match the carpet, I think. Yes, there it is. Because one time I kept saying, do the curtains match the drapes? And those are the same fucking thing. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. You idiot. I, <laughs> I knew it was a like a C and a D or a or something. So, you know, we uh we, You're yeah. like, no, the floor is uh shaved. <laughs> the color is shaved. Um, I actually do have to end my show, but I have yeah. to have you back on because this was this. so entertaining and we still have so much more ground to cover. Um, you can come on my show. Yes. Oh my God. I'd love to with your fancy sign behind you. Yes. We have love a to. blast. Like it's, it's wild. Our show is literally wild. Like where are you? I'm in Toronto. Okay. Canada. Yeah. Canada. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I want to say that's Canada, but we're about to go into curfew. Fucking Christ. But I mean, you know, like COVID, it's, it's time. Yeah. Like, I would love for us to just go into lockdown so that, like, we could stop this. It's not like, going to work. It's not so, going to work. Can something. I just want to suck dick again. I just, like, I I'm just. just blow my brains out in the middle of my show. <laughs> you say, where's the vaccine if it's not here in 10 minutes? Bye bye. <laughs> That'll be the final episode on Patreon. <laughs> Fucking. But you won't even reap any of the money of it. Yeah, my family, will, my dead corpse will be monetized. <laughs> That'll definitely oh, get me kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, if people want to find you, follow you, buy your book, give them the spiel. Squirt.org is I'm available on Squirt.org. <laughs> <laughs> I just took over my dad's profile. <laughs> my dead dad. Daddy's daddy's dead. I just took over his profile. I put a new penis photo. <laughs> daddy's dead. Oh, daddy loves the dick. No, okay. So you can find me. Oh you can find this uh amazing comedy, inimitable comedy, we will call it. Uh unmentionable podcast every Friday. It's on all players, but it's also on YouTube. You can watch it on there. And we have a like a four camera shot. We should have people in studio, but like obviously now it's a nightmare. Right. And uh at J Power Comedy on Instagram. And then my book is Famous Anus. Even if you're not gay, you will truly laugh your ass off. Like I if mean, you we heard some laugh, of the stories and they're fucking fantastic. Yeah, it's it's like what I recommend is for people that smoke weed like you, you have your yes. bong there. Yes. Is like I always tell people for like the HD experience is like get high and read my book. It will be the best thing you do this quarantine. Truly, it's it's there's nothing like it out there because it's just so outrageous. Like there's like five pages where I just talk about my asshole. Like it's just insane. <laughs> it's so good though. What more could you want? <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> I want to write a book and have five pages about my asshole. Fuck. Just just do famous pussy. You should, and I'll do a foreword. Yeah. It'll just say Katie's a cunt. Imagine. That'd be hilarious. With what is it? Not chlamydia. What was uh, chlamydia. the other one? Yeah. No, the the bigger one. Oh, syphilis. One. Syphilis. There we go. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be in a wheelchair real soon. <laughs> That's your 2021. Oh my god. That's a laugh. Or you'll just give a guy cancer with your pussy. <laughs> No, I, get too many, I get too many pap smears for that honestly like oh. there is no cervical cancer up in this bitch it's just not <laughs> happening <laughs> i'm um, really getting cancer right now <laughs> it's just it's not a good time to get cancer it's not a good time no. to be on the planet at all but yet here we are isn't it kind of wild that we're like living through all this shit oh it's the end why do you think we're gonna make it <laughs> I keep thinking we're gonna be in history books but like no bitch we're all gonna be fucking dead no history book here even like the two degree warming is bullshit because i'm a huge environmental junkie they've already baked in three degrees celsius based on like the previous co2 that's already baked in the atmosphere and so remember the paris climate was like we need to stay at two degrees or the planet's gonna go yeah four degrees the planet doesn't it either you can't live here so we're already on schedule for three degrees now, to not get to four, we would have to basically cut capital consumption each person by one sex. So everybody's need to do one sex, no flying, no driving, blah, blah, blah. That's never going to happen. So, yeah, it's the end. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's my well, I mean, this is really fun. <laughs> um, I guess thanks for being on. No. <laughs> Go for your dreams now, kids. It's going to be burning soon. <laughs> Who cares if you get COVID? Suck that dick now. You won't be able to later. Go, go the fires will. <laughs> oh my god! If you want to follow me, follow me everywhere at Little Baby Kate's. My Patreon is patreon.com/slash Little Baby Kate's. And thanks for coming on. This was so fucking fun. <laughs>
everyone had such great. a blast. This is the best highlight of my week, honestly. <laughs> this was great. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to see you again next Tuesday. Go out be the best person you can be and suck as much dick as you possibly can. Bye, y'all.